Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Kahoot game. First thing you have to do is go to your internet search and type in Get Kahoot and you're going to see the very first link here is getkahoot.com. This is where you're going to go to create your games. You're either going to sign in if you have a pre-existing account or if you don't have an account you should go in here and sign up for the free account. Once you have your information completed in the fields and you're going to sign in And as you can see here, you're already ready to start building your first Kahoot. So we're going to start here where it says quiz. However, just please keep in mind that you can also facilitate discussions with open-ended questions, and you can also do surveys with your students. So since I've been covering geometry, I'm going to go ahead and make this quiz a geometry review. I'm going to add a cover image to make my Kahoot a little bit more appealing. And I've already searched for some images, so I have them saved. And I'm just going to add those in very quickly. Okay, another requirement is to add a description. So I'm going to add my topics. This is a math game, and it is covering geometry. I'm going to leave this visible to everyone, but if you're drafting the quiz, you can leave it visible only to yourself. Um, the language, I'm going to keep it at English, and for audience, I'm going to select school. All right, um, if you need to credit your, your sources for the images or videos, you may do so here. Um, you, you can also have a video playing in the background. Right now I only have an image, but sometimes uh, if I wanna make it a little bit more engaging, I will go to YouTube, look up a video that relates to my topic, and I will just copy and paste that right here. And pretty much the image and the video is what is in the background as students are logging into the game. Once you're ready, you're going to click OK Go, and this is where you're going to start adding your questions. Now, for my first question, um, I already know that I have a shape that I want students to tell me how many faces it has, because that's something we covered. So I'm going to upload my picture of a cube, and I'm going to ask my students, how many faces does this shape have? Okay, as you can see here, I can change the time that my students are going to be given to think or to figure out the, the question. So your default is 20 seconds, but you can also increase the time here, as you can see. This I do sometimes if the question is a little bit harder, or if I'm working with younger students who just need more time to think, I can adjust that here. Um, and also, you can assign points to the questions. And so um, as the students are playing the game, then they can earn points and then they are ranked after every question so students are motivated to do better and to answer faster. Um, but you also have the option of taking off the points if you don't want to do that. Okay, here you can fill in your answer choices. You can leave it only with two answer choices, you can leave it with three, or you can add all four. You don't have to fill out all four if you don't want to. And usually um, I leave it either with one or two if I'm working with the younger students um, or if I just you know want to make it just a little bit easier for the students to um, for the students as they're playing their game but um, normally I do all four answer choices all right so once you have the correct answer you're going to check off the, the green check mark and that's going to indicate the correct answer choice you can go to next to add another question. Okay, and as you can see here, um, you can add video or images, uh, usually because of the fact that images are a little bit um, easier to work with. Um, I'll just stick with images. Um, but re remember, you don't wanna add a video that's gonna be taking up too much time because then your game will run longer. So let's see here. So here, for example, I'm only going to leave two answer choices, and I'm going to select the correct one. And you can go to next, and you can continue to add your, your questions. As you can see here, like for example, I want to make that a capital, so I can just come over here and click on my edit, which is the little pencil. And you can go back to the question and edit and save it. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, that I am done. If this is my quiz, so I'm going to go ahead and go to save, and um, I can continue to edit, I can preview or play it, or I can even share it with another teacher from another school or in my grade level. Um, once you are finished, you're going to click I'm done, 
and you're going to see below here you're going to have all your games that you've already created if you highlight on one you're going to notice that you can always go back to edit so if it's something i did last year and i want to make it a little more different i can edit something that i did from way back i can also duplicate it or i can just simply delete it as you can see here it'll tell you if your game is public or if you want to make it private then you can click on that um, but pretty much um, anything that you have created will always be saved for you if you're looking for ideas or if you don't have time to create your own you can always go to public cahoots and you can search for another game that's been created by someone else so for example if i wanted to search for another math game on geometry if i want to get some ideas or if i'm just looking for a quiz that's ready to go i can type in my topics for geometry this is going to be for a school and i do want this to be a quiz so i'm going to check that off and then i'm going to hit search and as you can see here you're going to see other quizzes that have been made and it'll tell you um, how many questions it has when it was created and you can always go back and make sure that you review the quiz by going to play you can look at the quiz and make sure it's something that's uh, suitable for your students um, and that's it pretty much um, you can create one you can find one that's already made and anything that you have will be stored for you under my cahoots so if you have any questions please let me know i'd be more than happy to assist thank you